Hey, what's going on, guys? Thrashback here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another episode of Hot Warriors. Now, before we get into this, I need to tell you, this is very important, I've been away for a bit. Which means I almost missed out on the Christmas player. I almost missed out on it. It's not even in the... <laughs> it's not even in the main menu. We gotta open up this pack. I'm actually not even recording a full episode right now, but I need to open up this pack so we get our player. So let's go ahead, take a look at what we need the most. What do we need? We got a free 91, and I'm thinking, I mean, defense would be great, but uh, do we need it right now? I don't know. So do we go with a forward? We're not going with a goalie. I'll tell you that right now. I'm not going with Pekka Rene. Do we go, look at the Dean up to an 82, and Nate up to an 87. You love to see it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting sidetracked. I think we're going with a forward, and I think I want it to be a left-handed forward. I could go with Besser, who's right-handed. But I feel like we have a lot of right-handed players. We have Nietzsche, Bergeron, Nylander, and then we have Stamkos and Giroux. Hmm. I mean, I, I do prefer left-handed players, but you know what? We're going to open up the pack right now. We're going to choose our free 91 overall player, and uh, we're going to add him to the team. I'm just going to make my decision based on what we get. I'm not going to... You know, I'm not going to freak out about it. I know we're getting what do you want. I don't need to watch this, okay? I know we're getting Silver Collectible. Great. Um... Whatever we get is going to help the team, as long as it's not a goalie. I don't think Rene is going to help us. I don't think goalies matter whatsoever. There's Vrana. I love these cards. They look awesome. Sergachev is a very interesting choice. Guess that left-handed defenseman, but, like, do we need defense? At this point in the game, I don't think we do. I think Vrana might be the way to go. Being our left-handed player, he'll be our number one left-handed forward. We can move Zuccarello down. I think that's our best move. I, I do want to try out Besser. I do want to try him out. His shot looks unreal. Um, I have Zabinijad on my main team. Um, but we just don't need centers right now, I don't think. With uh, Stamkos, Bergeron, and Nietzsche. Another right-handed center doesn't make sense. I think we're going to go Verona. 91 Verona. Add him to the team. Like I said, I'm not actually recording a full episode right here. I'm going ahead. I'm recording this part. And I'm going to do the rest of the episode later. But there it is. 91 Verona. Let's go ahead and get into the actual full episode since, you know, I'm I'm not actually recording it right now. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> it has been like two weeks. I am so sorry, guys. Every time I try to do something, something else comes up. And hell, I try, I, I, I just, I have no excuses. Basically, I didn't have time to do this. I, I apologize. We're back with Hot Warriors. We'll take a look at the squad because I forget what the squad's looking like at this point. I'm so, so sorry, guys. But we have Stamco, Sharu, Zuccarello. Landis Gog, Nate, Nyko, didn't we add a Christmas player? Alright, hold on. We've added Vrana, that's so much better, I'm sorry about that. Uh, we also have Nate up to an 88 and Zadina up to an 84. I'm pretty sure Nate will be an 89 by tomorrow as well. So, lots of good stuff happening here, boys. Team's looking solid. Defense, Tim He with Brandstrom, Yossi, Subban, uh, Spurgeon, and Marinsky. And in net, we are still rocking Carter Hart, who's actually played pretty well. He's played pretty well. 11 and 0. So we'll see if we can keep that going. I apologize one last time. Now let's open up our free pack. Start off every episode with a reroll, just a regular silver reroll. But you never know what you can get in these. Um, I actually, on my main account, rerolled Team of the Year Connor McDavid. So you can literally get anything in here. So let's see if we can get something big. See if we can add something to the team. See if we can add Justin Dowling or Oscar Kleckbaum. Okay, neither. Neither are coming to the team. But let's go ahead, get into a game, and see if we can win. Now, it has been so long since we actually recorded one of these episodes. I'm going to refresh you on, on the rules. Um, if we get a win, if we get a win, we get a regular base pack. If we get a rage crit, we upgrade that to a premium pack. And if we score eight or more goals, we get to choose one of the special packs that are out to open up. We get to choose any one of them to open up. If we score four or more points, get a hat trick, or get a shutout in a game, we also get to open up a gold reroll. So, performance is key. Let's go ahead, see if we can get this W, add something to the team. This 91 Vrana, I'm excited to try him out. Let's see how we do. All right, boys, here we go. Finally getting into a game with the Hut Warriors. Trying out Vrana for the first time. We got Nate up to an 88. Let's have some fun. He's got Johnny Gaudreau. Looks like Zetterberg and then the Roadrunner on his first line. Interesting. He's definitely got a good squad. That could be that 93 Zetterberg. Could just be the pace. Um, I have no idea. He has a tall defenseman. I don't know who that is. Pause. Holy crap. Anyways, let's go ahead and see how we do. I'm gonna, oh, oh, wait. I was gonna say I want to try out Verona, but we have a chance here. Verona, open! Oh, we a big save. Right 
We are like halfway through the period. There hasn't been a whistle yet, guys. It's been back and forth, back and forth. Maybe we can uh, get the first whistle on the goal. Big save by Rene. Rene's made some big saves. I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure what Rene he has, but he's played very well so far. All right, guys. That's a bit better. That is a little... That's a lot better, man. I don't know how he's playing on the camera angle. Let's see if we can uh, get something started here. Oh, there you go. There you go. Brandstrom in. Oh, big save by Rene. And we actually take another penalty. Five on three. Verona goes to the box. What a play. This could be really bad. No, 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 no. What are you doing, Horvat? Got to go for it. And it works. Let's go. Horvat, I don't know what he, he's just jumping up at the player. I don't know that what that defense was, but regardless, we escape. Here comes Parisi. One handed tuck for him, and it goes in that time. We're up one nothing. Short handed goal for Parisi. Um, also, there's people mentioning his name is Parise. I'm just going by what they say in game. He literally calls him Parisi, so. All right, guys, that is going to do it for your first period. We're up one nothing. the shorthanded goal there. Um, not a lot else to say. I feel like it was fairly even. Uh, Rene made some big saves on his side. Not going to lie. Okay, maybe not as even as I thought. Shots are 13-2. to Jeez. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got to go for it again. It works. However, Johnny Gaudreau picks it up and throws it into the open cage. It's 1-1. On go, Nate. Go, Nate. Come on, get in there. On the backhand, and he loses it. We got it again. Oh, Nate. Not even an intentional shot, but I will take it. I was trying to go for the 1-T. It got blocked, but it goes right to Nate, and he roofs it, making it 2-1. This guy does have a really good team, by the way. That was 90 Gaudreau with his goal. He does have the 93 Zetterberg as well, so he does have a good squad. Oh, across. What a save. <laughs> okay. I thought for sure we were up by two there. That was a wicked save. This Rene, keeping him in it. Just go. Just go. Sadino, what a move. On the backhand. Oh, what a save. This Pekka Rene, man. I cannot solve him. I don't know what to do. He downloaded Vrana on the one tee. Oh, it's in! <laughs> Let's go! Jacob Vrana gets his first. I absolutely called it as we take a two-goal lead heading into the third period. Your stats after two, we are absolutely dominating in the shots category. We're leading in time on attack. We just got to keep it up here in the third period, and we should get away with a W. Vrana, Stamkos, three-goal lead here in the third. That's a big goal. Get back. You're good. You're good. Uh oh. Vladimir Tarasenko makes it for the two. I tried to get over Tim. He's just not fast enough. He's been on the ice for quite a while, too. But regardless, Vladimir Tarasenko gets the goal. Go, Zadina. Go get that goal back for us. He does! The Datsu flip goes in. Philip Zadina makes it 5 to 2. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to work. And it might not have gone in as clean as I wanted it to. But it does find the back of the net. Oh, that's that's pretty clean. Zadina, you got in. He's looking across to Landeskog. And Landeskog couldn't bury it. Landeskog's a turnover machine. How did... Um, that's not a goal? I thought... Okay, we can't score. Landeskog, buddy. <laughs> it's like watching the Wings play in overtime against Ottawa the other night. Oh, on the rebound, Panarin. He crashes at home. It's 5-3. to three. Here's the thing. We couldn't score on all those chances. We had tons of chances. Couldn't bury them. And now he's in, he's in within two. I... It's not looking good here. We gotta we gotta get on the board. There's only a couple minutes left, but anything can happen here. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Just as I say it, Nate walks in, gets the pass from Braunstrom, and makes it a three-goal lead again. That probably will be the deck. 
Nate, hat trick goal. I wanted to make sure to get that extra gold pack for you guys. So, Nate gets the reroll pack with the hat trick. We get the base pack for winning. If we get one more goal, though, we will get ourselves a special pack. Alright, guys, that is going to do it for the game. Unfortunately, could not get one more to get that special pack. I'm going to blame Gabriel Landeskog on that. We should have had uh, six or seven goals there by him. But regardless, that does confirm us moving up into Division 6. Uh, one more game. If we get the W, we will get the uh, Div 7 title. So, we get our packs. Nate has the hat trick. Well done, buddy. Subban had two assists. Verona had two points in his debut as well. But Nate gives us that gold reroll. Let's see if we can get something good out of it. First things first, we get a regular base pack. That's it. Now, here's here's the thing. The base pack is 5k. The choice pack is 5k. We're gonna go with the we're gonna go with the 5k choice pack. I feel like it has better value. I, even if we get nothing for the team, it gives us more to sell. I think we'll get more coin for what we get out of here, which is what we need. It's the same price as a base pack. So, Team of the Year mini choice pack. First pack of the day. Let's see if we can get something to add to the team. It's not going to be Bystrom. It's not going to be Glendening. Paul Stassi's not awful, but I don't think we're going to keep him. All right, we got four rounds of nothing. Oh, no, the fifth round, I think we get a player guaranteed as well. That's right. So, maybe we get something good. Look at, see, we're getting coin. We're getting coin. That's all I care about is we're getting coin. I'm happy. And we get a gold coach. That sells for a decent amount. Let's go. We made coin on this. And we get a backland, a luff, and a Kyle Wood. Not adding any of those guys, but we did get some coin out of here. Now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and open up our gold reroll. We are guaranteed an 80 plus out of here. Let's make it a 90 plus, shall we? Let's add something huge to the team for that big W. It, it's Alexi Lintu Niemi. I would never want to hear the Niemi name again, ever. But if it's going to be next to something big, I don't mind. Jonathan Taze, 83. That could definitely help us out. Interesting, interesting. Jonathan Taze. Where can we fit him in? I think this is going to be the end of Anders Lee. And what we're going to do is throw Jonathan Taze in as a center. Because obviously he has those face-offs. Um, but I'm not sure how I want to maneuver everything around. Now, Jonathan Taze is a much better player than Andres Lee in this game, for sure. Hands down. But our centers are looking pretty good. Nate has 89 face-offs. Bergeron's in the 90s. He's got 92. Bo Horvat. He's got 87. Taze has 93. We're going to have to switch those guys around, I guess. So it's going to be Taze, Horvat, and Parisi on the fourth line. I don't like that either, though. I'd like to have a righty down here. You know what? I'm going to leave it for now. We're playing well. I don't want to touch it. Guys, that is going to do it for this episode. I'll have another one to you tomorrow. I will have another episode to you tomorrow to try and make up for all the lost time here. I apologize. Hopefully, you guys are ready for this series. You're happy it's back. I'm happy it's back. It's so much fun to play with these guys. And I can't wait to see how we do in tomorrow's episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.